What's up, Calvary? It's your girl, Naisha Nicole, back again with another video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be using this black hair remover today, and I am going to be showing you guys exactly what's in my skin. I don't know how long this video might actually last. It might not even be too long, because if I get grossed out, that's it on it. But we're going to start. We're going to try. I just finished reading the instructions, and... Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and see what's in my skin. So I'm going to be looking over here at the screen to see exactly what's in my skin. But I do want to show you guys what came in the package with this. If you like this video, um, definitely let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. But also, if you're interested in purchasing this, then the link will be down in the description box. I did get it off of Amazon. I want to say it was like $35, so that's good. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different nozzle heads. Um, and the different heads have different shapes. Like this one is a big circle. And then the one that came on it is uh, kind of like an oval shape. Y'all, please forget my nails. Quarantine and some other things that I have going on. Just, whoo child. But we'll get to that in another video. Um, then there's a smaller kind of oval shape. Six different shapes. And then, of course, it came with the black hair remover itself. And this is by... Skozer, I think is how you pronounce it. But again, I got it off of Amazon, link down below. And it came with a spatula and brush for your face, to wash your face with. I just actually washed my face before I started the, the video. Um, I have combination skin, and so I just felt that it would be best to wash my face first. Wash my face. My combination is I have a very oily T-zone and then the rest of my face can get kind of dusty. So, yeah. This area right here can be all kinds of oily. As you can see, like, just wash my face and it's already shiny. And then the rest of my face can get Sahara dry. And then I do have eczema on my forehead. My skin has been hating me lately. So, I, um... I'm interested to see what comes up on this camera, but I have eczema on my forehead. As y'all can see, like I have some spots right here. And then, like I said, my skin has not been happy with me. So I have all kinds of spots on my face. Like I said in my last video, my skin has just not been the happiest with me over the last couple months. Um, so I'm doing everything I possibly can to fix that. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, I'm going to be looking down here at the camera um, that's showing what's in here on my skin. So this is not going to show y'all everything yet, but I just want y'all to see what's going on down here. I am going to insert some clips while I'm doing this though, so y'all can see. Oh, it takes a picture. So it's not just, so it has two buttons here. This is what turns it on and off. And then the mode of the suction, how fast or hard it sucks. And then that's what he said. <laughs> and then this like takes a picture, I think. So, so that's like light. You see it does have pretty good suction on it. Nervous, y'all. Okay. Oh, wow. Y'all, this is nasty. But I will say nothing is... I'm hairy as fuck, yo. But I will say nothing is coming off on itself. So. And I did charge this. 
for like a day. Oh, something just came out. Ew. So I have it on the medium setting and something just came out. Ew. Ew. I'm going to show y'all exactly what's coming out. Oh, there's a big old piece of hair. Y'all got a whole beard. So this is the area that I tend to get breakouts in the most. So I'm gonna show y'all what I see. So as you can see, I'm hairy as hell. Ooh, there's something coming out, ew. And I've been watching videos online about how to use these, like from like dermatologists. And you're supposed to go in an upward motion. See, look, oh my God, stuff is actually coming out. Ew. That's freaking disgusting. So in addition to stuff coming out, I also want to see like what my spots look like under the camera. So this is where I have like a lot of spots from previous breakouts. So I want to see what they look like up close. Turned it up a little bit just to see if anything will come out. Like this hurts a little bit on that highest setting. It does hurt a little bit. So let's see like my, where I have my eczema. Oh my God, it just looks so dry. Like for this to be my oily zone, it looks super dry on camera. Like look, you can see my skin just like dry as fuck. But this is where I have eczema, so. What I got going on on my top lip. Nothing's coming out. I don't really get breakouts on top of it. I see chin. Like I always have like little I always have like little white bumps right here after I wash my face. Not like white bumps like white heads but it's like I can see the pores and I have really large pores on my cheeks under my eyes and on my chin so I wonder oh my god this is so disgusting yes this is what yeah.
like even though I washed my face before I started doing this video, I feel like I'm gonna have to rewash my whole entire face all over again because this shit is nasty. Still on this side. And I just had like a breakout down here. A hormonal breakout. Most of my breakouts are hormonal. Um But I just had a breakout down here. I'm not really getting too much out down here. this side of my face like I was on the other side I'm covering my whole face right now, but this is nasty. Oh my gosh. Let's see what it looks like on the corners of my nose. Because I get pretty dry. And I feel like there's. Oh, oh. Oh, nasty. That is so freaking nasty. Oh my god. That is freaking disgusting. Like, I feel like I want to change this now. Yeah, I'm going to change. I'm going to change the head. So they just screw on. Put that in the sink. Ew. That baby up because that was nasty, y'all. Yeah. Let's see what we get now. I think that's just dead skin, or either where I just sucked like a whole person out of my face, like, ugh. Like, I'm low-key embarrassed about that because I literally just washed my face before I said, oh my God, look at that dry patch. And this is on my cheek, so maybe, maybe I'm confused and, or I don't listen too well to my dermatologist. Maybe my T-zone is my dry spot. And... My cheeks are the oily part. I don't know. But I'm actually liking this. Like this is kind of satisfying a little bit. Now it did say not to leave it in the same spot for more than two seconds. So that's why I'm kind of going kind of fast. Over my face, cause I don't want to have a big old hickey on the side of my face. Has anybody else in the cavalry ever tried one of these? Let's see what it looks like on my nose. If you've tried one of these before, Comment down below. Ew, you see the oils just coming out? Now my nose is super oily. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, like it is so oily on my nose. Like, can somebody help me understand this whole combination skin thing? Because clearly I don't understand it. Because you see this dryness? This is my forehead. But yeah, my nose. Oh my god. This is disgusting. I feel like the battery is dying though. And I charged this for a good day. Like a good day. Maybe a day and a half. So the battery must not last that long. But then too I am like filming a video and I guess under normal circumstances you wouldn't just be using it this long. Oh. Ew. Well I am going to finish just like admiring my skin up close and personal if you like this type of content make sure you go ahead and subscribe like comment on this video i am still kind of getting back in the swing of things of recording and editing it's not easy so uh calvary if you've been here for a while please bear with me i really do truly appreciate you guys for staying the course with me while i was down for a while but thank you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for staying subscribed, continue to watch my videos over and over again. Like I got comments from people saying, this is my third time watching this video. I love this, you're, you're funny. I appreciate y'all more than y'all absolutely could ever understand. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart and the tip of my crown. Um, I really do appreciate you guys, but for the new subbies, if this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on this video and watching it all the way through the end. But until next time, it's time to clean, y'all.